Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs and in today's video we are going to create this logo reveal animation in After Effects. So without wasting more time, let's jump into the tutorial. So let's create a new comb. I call it as main animation as always. Main animation. Enable this choose grid and guide option. Now create another new comb by hitting Ctrl N. Which should be 100 or maybe 50 I guess. And height also 50. Frame rate 30. And I call it as pixels. Now hit Ctrl Y. It's a solid there, and let's call it BG. Now hit T for opacity, and opacity should be zero. And hit the keyframe. And after a ten frame, let's make it eighty and twenty. Let's make it 20 and at 1, let's make it 100. Now select all the keyframes and hit F9 to easy. Now let's hit S for scaling and let's make a one keyframe. Press U to show up all the keyframes and let's make this 50 and at one second just making 100 again now select all the keyframes and press ctrl c to copy these keyframes and ctrl v to paste them now select all the keyframes and open the graph editor select all of them and adjust this graph editor like this yeah. now go to the main icon and take this here so this is animation of one pixel all you need to do is just make it zoom and duplicate it by pressing ctrl D and holding shift and move just like this now again you will select both of them press ctrl D and make it here and again now we will apply the same procedure again pressing ctrl D move it over here and again now again select all of them press ctrl B to duplicate it move over here and adjust like this now select con select all of them by pressing ctrl A press ctrl shift C to create a comp and call it as first now duplicate this first press s for scaling unlink this and let's make it minus 100 so this is our animation now go inside this first zoom and press unlock this now right click keyframe assistant sequences press ok and all you need to do is increase this time so this will animate like this Go to the keyframe. As you can see, our animation will look like this. 
आगे प्रेस कंट्रोल ए टू सिलेक्ट बोथ ऑफ देम एंड प्रेस कंट्रोल शिफ्ट सी टू क्रिएट अ फॉर्म एंड प्रेस ओके प्रेस कंट्रोल बी टू डुप्लीकेट इट वाई हैव ओनली शिफ्ट मूव ओवर हियर अगेन प्रेस कंट्रोल डी टू हियर अगेन प्रेस कंट्रोल बी डुप्लीकेट इट और अगेन कंट्रोल डी अगेन कंट्रोल डी And that's it. You select all of them. Press Control D. Take this down. In the result, yeah, perfect. So now our animation will look like this. So now all you can do is select random one of them and make this pattern. It's up to you. You can choose whatever you want. Again, I make it a little bit different. Just like this. Yep, perfect. This. Now select all of them. Press Control Shift C and let's call it as a mask. Press OK. So this is going to be our mask. Press R, rotate this form just like this. Okay. So this is going to be our form. And this is our name. Now all you need to do is just import your logo file. Yeah, this is my logo. I'm going to import this. So import. And I choose my logo from here. This is my logo. I hit Control C and Control V. Okay. Now go to the Align tab. Align it to the center. Press S for scaling. And move my logo here. And press F4 in drag map. Go to the Alpha map. So as you can see, this is how it will appear. All you need to do is just scale it a little bit. So then go to this mask. Press Control D and move this up. And let's shift this. Over here, okay. You can move this now. Press Ctrl A and move them a little bit down. So, this is going to be our, our mask for that logo. Again, if you want, then you can change these positions. It's up to you. You can change it. Now select both of them. Press Control Shift C and let's name it as Look. So this is our final animation. Now, if you want to increase some stuff, then you will. Now press Control B three times. Now here, let's go to the Effect and Presets and type Fill. So this is our fill. For the first one, it's red. For the second one, it's going to be green. For the third one, it's going to be a blue. So it's RGB basically. And let's move it here, here, here. So our animation will look like this. But we can make it little bit interesting. Just press Ctrl D for the red one. Move it 
here and again control D for the white one which is our original logo so even after the just a little bit now let's select all of them and put it screw now select all of them press ctrl shift c press call it as main logo animation and press ok now this is our final animation now all you need to do is ctrl d hit s and this unlink this mark and make it minus uh, I think minus 50 should be good press P for positioning and let's take this uh, here yeah good <coughs> yeah. now all you need to do is create a floor for this let's create a new form uh, which should be 1920 height should be 1080 I call it as map press ok now what I need to create is press ctrl y to create a solid layer let's, let's call it map again and go to the effect and presets and try fractal noise increase the contrast little bit decrease the brightness brightness just like this go to the main form press ctrl 0 to open your project panel now move this map layer here sorry add this map for our reflection layer we will add one effect called compound blur yeah here it is compound blur choose map okay. so it will act like some rough map yeah now what we need to do is select this layer choose a rectangle and mask like this now go to the mask mask feathers and increase the feather little yeah that should be good so yeah here is our final logo animation So if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe my channel Aging Motion Designs. Until then stay tuned.